Alrighty. So this was a big day. My first official, real, arm workout in almost two weeks. And it felt pretty good. The wrist was good. I'll talk about that in a little bit here. But I am happy with this workout today. Welcome back to Mark's 60 plus fitness journey. Today is Saturday, March 19th, and it's going to be an arm day with some calf work and some stretching and some walking. And uh, so I'm going to show you that. And uh, today is going to be like the first real arm day since I got my the cyst removed on my left wrist. And I'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute just before we get into the workout here. So... I think that's going to turn out good. That's been about 10 days, maybe a little longer since I had it out. Turned out to be a little more invasive than I thought it was going to be, a little bit more invasive than the doctor thought it was going to be. But right now it feels pretty good. And I'll, like I said, I'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute, and then we'll get into the workout. So with that, let's get to it. Okay, so now just to catch up on this little cyst issue I've had, this is it about I don't know when I did this, a picture of it about four weeks ago, a month ago or so. And you see how big it was, and it was impacting my uh, thumb and forefinger. I was feeling some numbness in my thumb and forefinger. Plus, it's pretty unsightly. So we opted to have it removed. And this is uh, an image of my wrist five days after the little surgical procedure and you can see uh, my thumb, the fat part of my thumb there was still very numb and it was very bruised and uh, it was, this was a lot more sore than I thought it was going to be. The doctor told me that it was a lot more difficult to get out than he anticipated because the root of the cyst was wrapped around the nerve running up from my forearm up to my thumb and forefingers, forefinger. But uh, here we are today. This is actually today, and it is way better. Feels better. The numbness is 95% gone. Uh, I've got full strength in my hand. The bruising is gone. And uh feels good, and I'm glad I did it, and I'm glad that's over with. Yes, indeed. Righty, so let's get into today's workout. Now, almost all of my workouts start out with calf work. As a matter of fact, stretching and calf work and I try to do that at the beginning uh, just to get the blood flowing get warmed up get stretched out so prior to this I'd done my stretching and I'm going to do two sets of 20 or so reps on this standing calf machine calves can take a lot of work they're designed to do a lot of work so I uh, work them almost every every workout and I think I've gotten pretty good results from it now, on to the arm day proper. I'm going to start out today's arm day with two sets of cable tricep pushdowns using that Y bar there. This Y bar uh, suits me really well because I can get a really good contraction right there. As a matter of fact, I hold it right there for a second or so just to, to keep the contraction there and get a mind-muscle connection on that outer head as much as possible because that's what I'm working on, particularly on my right arm. So two sets of tricep pushdowns at around the 12 rep range. I may get 13 or so on the first set and then 11 or 12 on the second set but that 12 rep range works good for me. It gets, uh, gets the blood in there. I get a nice contraction out of it. I got a nice tricep work right there. I'm just doing those two sets alone. So now I'm gonna move right into my first bicep movement, which is just your basic supinated curl using this straight bar on the cable. Again, I love cables. This uh, straight bar suits me really well. I get a nice contraction. It, uh, I believe this is good for a bicep peak and it gets the blood in there and 
as I said, it just suits me really well. So two sets of straight bar cable curls. So at this point, I've got two sets of tricep work done. And after this, this uh, last set here, I've got two sets of bicep work done. And we're well on our way to an excellent arm workout day. Now, I'm going to go into two more sets of tricep work using a rope. So I'm going to do, uh, again, more cable work using a rope, doing tricep extensions, two sets at around the 12 rep range. Now, it's hard to see here uh, the way I recorded this, but I try to uh, extend my hands out at the bottom to get a little bit more extension, a little bit more contraction on that entire tricep muscle and as I remember it this uh, I was using a little bit too heavy a weight on this set here um, this last set uh, but I still got uh, I think I got 11 or so on this last set but I didn't really get the proper extension because the weight was a little bit too heavy but still it was a good two sets so at this point, I've got four sets of tricep work done and two sets of bicep work done. Feeling good. So now I'm going to move into two more sets of bicep work. And I'm going to focus on using hammer curls in this, in this case. I, I like hammer curls in general. Uh, and using this rope here, keeping my elbows close to my body, I get a really good feel for this too and I think this this is a more of a bicep thickener than a peak movement and I think it's a good strength move too so I got two more sets of bicep work done here which brings me to four sets of tricep and four sets of bicep work all in the 12 rep range which I think is an excellent hypertrophy range for me now, we're going to go right into two more sets of tricep work. And here, I'm using something that I've really grown to love. The tricep kickback using a cable. And as you see, I've got the pulley about I don't know, a little higher than knee high. Uh, I want to make sure I'm able to keep my elbow solid, my upper arm solid, and just pull from the elbow straight back. I want to focus on not moving my arm and focus on contracting my tricep. And here, uh, actually on these tricep kickbacks, I, I, the last set in particular, well, I'll show you here in a second, I uh, did a drop set on the last set for each arm. So I'll just drop it down. As you can see, it's really lightweight for this. And I just dropped it down and did five more, I believe, on each arm this way. Just to get a nice drop set, nice burn. Get the get the blood in there. And I apologize, I'm a little stuffy today for some reason. A lot of pollen floating around up in here. So, now I'm going to move right into some dumbbell work. And here I'm doing hammer curls again. As I said, I love hammer curls, and I believe the dumbbells give it a little bit different feel than the uh, rope hammer curls. And even engages a little bit of uh, shoulder and trap work here. And did two sets of these at about 10 or 12 reps. And once I burn out on the, see, I, I move it. I do this, I, I just kind of focus on pulling them in towards my chest, and this really hits the peak of my biceps really well. It's a good way to finish up a hammer curl set, I believe. Then I'm going to finish up my arm day with two sets of dumbbell overhead tricep extensions. And here I'm doing them about 12, I mean 10 reps. Uh, this was, I believe, a 45-pound dumbbell. And that's really all I had to work with there. Maybe should have used a 40 just to get, but it wasn't available. But uh, with the 45, I got two sets of 10 or so reps in here. And um, this was a good way to finish up the workout. I love this dumbbell tricep or overhead 
tricep extension using dumbbells because I get a really good stretch with it right there. But thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And uh, I believe that was an excellent arm workout for me. Alrighty, there it was. Arm day with some calf work and some stretching thrown in. It's a good workout. And I gotta say, it feels pretty good to get a, an actual workout recorded again. I was happy with that. It was really crowded in there today. It was hard to uh, get the camera and the places to work out. And uh, so, But anyway, it worked out pretty good. And it was a good workout. And good thing too, my wrist did not hurt at all. So uh, yeah, it's been about 10 days, maybe longer since I've had a good like uh, pull workout where I could do uh, like back work or uh, bicep work, that kind of stuff. So the wrist feels good. I'm glad about that. And I do want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate, appreciate every one of you that have subscribed and uh, hung out with me on this little journey, on this big journey, and participated and all the support and encouragement. It's it's. It's beyond me sometimes. Um, so tomorrow's an active rest day. Uh, that's just, just going to be some walking and maybe some uh, stretching. Well, definitely some stretching. So that'll be good. And then Monday, I'm going to jump back into a leg day, and I'm going to record my leg day. I've got a little bit different leg workout going I want to show everybody. So there you go. That's it. And I just want to say, till next time, go get them. Mark out.